Today we are cooking so far. Come on, let's start cooking. Our ingredients for our suafai is the ripe banana, psycho, white sugar, and coconut cream. That's our ingredients. So every time you do a suafai, you put it in a container or a bowl and soak it with water, cold water. So when it's time for you to use, it's nice and soft to cook. Oh, just mashing the banana. Mmm, looks so yummy. Yuck. So we got our pot over here. And we're gonna put our mashed banana in. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then put the water. Oi. So we're just gonna cook our food. Hi guys, I'm toasting the bread for our um so fatty, so yeah. So just bring it to the boil and then simmer for 15 minutes. We add the psycho. Stir it. Let it cook. Now we finish cooking uh, the psycho. Now we put our coconut cream in. Stir it. Now with the sofai. It depends on you how sweet your suafa is gonna be. And we put our now moly in our suafa. It's gonna be nice. And yummy. And the smell of it. Mmm. That's how we do a suafa. This is what we are having for dinner tonight. Suafai. Um, toast. Uh, rice. Kaleve pea soup with uh, silver beet. That's gravy. Pea soup gravy with silver beet. So that's for our dinner for tonight. And so fight the How's the food? Yummy mm. yeah, baby. Oh. Yeah, then. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, Eat that, yeah. Hi guys. Oh, mm -hmm.
Yeah, remember they always do it on the stone? Mm -hmm. But now they're on holiday. Mm -hmm. But after the holiday, there's still no school. Now, now somebody the government. Mm -hmm. So, we'll turn four, still on. On lockdown. On lockdown. So, still online. Yeah, remember New Zealand? There were parts of New Zealand that they went down and the other ones go up. But now they go up again now. Mm. They go up to level three, all of them. Yeah, even the kingdom, some of the, because some people are going to work, so they need the, the kindy, eh? So some parents, they still take their kids to the kindy, but not this one. Just want to go to maybe level two, eh? Maybe level two, then I can take her to the kindy. No! Why are you going to be out? Too smart, get it with Mm. 
Bah ça, bon allez. Mmh. On est fait des signaux. Mmh. Mmh. Straight from the coconut to the new. Mmh. Oh man. Pas y'a eu. La seule fois où on a fait des pieds. Mmh. 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 Ça, moi, je vais le voir pour le poids. Samoa and you see the beef if you compare when we came from Samoa. Yeah. The Fokomi was like sixty dollar. My first job was sixty dollar back in Samoa. Sixty dollar. Sixty five. Sixty dollars. Come here. Come eat. Yeah, and your first, my first paycheck was three hundred fifty. Three hundred fifty dollars. They Wow. They were million, yeah. For a day. For a minute. They may like what they pay. Three hundred fifty. Wow. Wow, I'm going to buy the Ferrari so that I can pay it. No, no. I don't know how to pay more payments so far. I can pay more payments so far. I can pay more payments so far. I think the rent was like 300. The rent was like 300 and you haven't paid the electricity. The water, you haven't buy food yet. I saw more you you get sixty dollar all I don't buy so I get sixty dollars. Eh? Get pass is here, eh? you go pass fair, sugar, flour. Mm. <laughs> yeah, uh oh. I'll say more for ease, nice and safe. Yeah, I think I always say me like who asked low neighbor. In some more. Sugar, salt. Kawanga. <laughs> uh, if you got no money, you can ask your family or your neighbor. Mm. Our neighbor is in Waipunga. This man, this old man in Waipunga, he always come to our house and watch TV. <laughs> he always said to me, Hey, why don't you come and uh, call it the Ulu? There's plenty of uh, bread food at my house. You come tomorrow. Yeah, then the next day I went there to, with my low, uh, the, the long stick and the basket, and I asked him, Hey, come here to take the bread food, the Ulu. And he said, Okay. He comes and asks you, and he complains about you come here and get the breadfruit tree. Breadfruit from his tree. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Baby, some bread. Mm. Mm. That's the man I saw. The, the only person I saw, he, no. he cooked his fish no. in a boiling uh, pot. Mm. The kipoki wina. <laughs> Ah, yeah. He had a kipoki wheeler, he cut the fish and then he boiled the water and put the half of the fish first and then cook it and then bring that half and then cook the other half in a boiling in uh, electric uh, pot. And they tried to serve me and say, Oh, no, thank you. I just finished. I'm so hungry, but I look at the pot and say, Oh, no, thank you. I just finished. Mm. Disgusting. Mm. 
he do his tea in it and do the cooking in the Everything Kipoki in the Villa. Kipoki Villa. Uh, yeah. No matter how hungry I am, if I go to himself and I look at the weather for this I said, oh, no, thank you. I know. That's how he took go his cooking. Even if I for young mo saka young carlo bom potatoes, yeah he he always do it in the kipoki villa. <laughs> <laughs> when I think about it, it's so funny. <laughs> yeah, everybody in the village knows. <laughs> in one kipoki, the kids so that the parangi use forty. <laughs> This guy boiled the fish. Mumbai, as come on, go home. 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 Everything must go. <laughs> Thank you guys for uh, always uh, hanging out with us and visiting us today. We really appreciate your love and support. Thank you guys for watching our video today. See you next time. Bye. Say hi, bye, baby. Say hi, I know. I know.